How embarrassing! So, welcome back to the Reaver Approach channel, everybody. Today, we're talking about training with 22s. Is it actually something you can do? Is it actually good practice? Or is it just gonna form bad habits? Or is it only for the poor because they can't afford actual ammo? Let's jump into it. So, most will argue that dry fire is going to accomplish just as much as firing a 22 because 22s really just don't have any sort of recoil so it's easy to control. However, you can dry fire in your room or you can dry fire in your mom's basement like I do. Usually those types of drills are you gonna be standing in your room in the basement and you're gonna draw, stand, deliver, do some one R ones. That is good for practicing your fundamentals, getting really good with your weapon manipulations, utilizing your gear. However, when you're actually out there training or you know in, in a real life scenario in Minecraft, you're probably not going to be reloading from just a standard, you know, stage belt scenario. You're going to be behind cover, you're going to be on the move. And that's really when that 22 comes in mind because you can out, go out there, you can actually kind of run and gun and put your kit through its paces and be reloading from those different areas. Because you can feel really fast in your bedroom. And like I said, it is important to practice that. But when you actually get out and start using things, you're reloading on the move, your mags are moving around, it could be a lot harder. And that is why I feel like training with a 22 has a lot of value. So doing those one R1 drills inside your house, inside your bedroom, that can be really fast. You get really good at it and you practice those fundamentals and, and you record yourself with your iPhones like, damn, that was fast. Cool, wow, impressive. The only thing that was faster was you on your prom night much to your prom date's disappointment. Yikes! But going out there shooting and reloading on the move is going to be one of those things that elevates your skill level. Listen, we all hate buying ammo. If you're like me, you're a fucking idiot and you went to the gun store, bought a thousand rounds of nine mil, only to realize that it was $100 cheaper on laxammo.com. Not sponsored by the way. Uh, if you do want to sponsor a shit channel though, feel free to uh, reach out. Anyway, buying ammo sucks. And so going out and being able to train, put in a lot of these reps while using a 22 is pretty sweet because 22 is practically free. Well, maybe not anymore, but using 22 is a lot cheaper than everything else. So you can go out there, you could run drills, and it's just a lot of fun to go out there and shoot with your buddies. We don't all have loads of money to throw away on 556, 308, or whatever the fuck the, the trendy calibers are these days. I think 300 blacks pretty trendy right now. We all don't have that kind of money to throw away on it. And so if you're on a budget, this is a great way to go out there to take your training to the next level, as well as being able to build off the fundamentals that you've been practicing at home with your dry fire and your reload drills while at home. An unfortunate few of you are able to actually shoot on the move and have good consistent hits on target. One of the biggest things to develop that skill is developing your footwork. Doing dry fire practice at home, it's a lot harder to practice that footwork because you're usually working with a small space. So going out to the range, you're able to go ahead and practice on paper, maybe you're shooting on steel, and you can have immediate feedback to see if you're actually doing something wrong or if you need to develop those skills further. And like I said, you're not wasting a lot of money and ammo doing so. As far as working on your footwork, it's all about developing that stable platform. There's loads of different ways to do it. Everyone's got a different mentality on how to do it. You can do whatever the fuck you want. I don't care. I'm not a trainer. However, whichever school of thought that you subscribe to, go out there and actually practice it because doing it at home is a lot harder. It's okay though. I suck too. Something else that you can practice really well with some sort of like 22 conversion, 22 version of your rifle is your ability to practice transition drills. 22s have the innate ability to jam a fuck ton. Malfunction. That enables you to have a lack of feedback so you know your weapon has stopped. So you can do a weapon manipulation, see if you can clear that malfunction, or just transition to your pistol, bring it up. That's one of the things you need to practice a lot. 
And oftentimes, a lot of the ways we practice is we put like two or three rounds in our magazine, and so we're kind of gaming it. We know it's coming up. We fire our three shots, and then we're like, oh no, I'm empty. And we know it's going to be empty anyway because we knew this was the drill that we were practicing. And then we pull out our pistol like, wow, wow, so fast, so impressive. Wow, cool, look at me, look at me. However, when an actual stoppage occurs, and it's not usually something that you expect, oftentimes newer shooters and maybe people who haven't trained that well with it end up just like, uh, and they end up looking at their gun like your grandmother looks at her iPhone as you try to explain what a GIF is. Some people are gonna be here, it's a GIF, it's a GIF, who fucking cares? Anyway, because you're not gaming it, you can get actual real muscle memory to know that when your weapon goes down, you don't have that feedback, that recoil to get onto it a little bit faster. And then you're not like looking at your gun like, oh, what's going on? So a 22 is a great way to practice those transitions as well as those stoppage drills. Now it is important to address any bad habits that can develop from this. From shooting only 22, that's only what you're practicing with, you can develop a lack of recoil control because it is imperative to know that you are getting next to no recoil. So managing that recoil and understanding you're probably not gonna be able to shoot quite as quickly as you do with your 22 without practicing those fundamentals of good recoil control, then you need to not become complacent with that. So getting out there and actually training with your rifle, probably more often than the 22, is important to make sure that you are not becoming a lazy shooter. Listen, I know that shooting a 22 isn't as fun as shooting out your Gucci'd out rifle. And oftentimes, if you want to be as effective with your training, you need to set up your 22 the same way that you've set up your other rifle. With things like weapon lights and things like that, you can probably maybe skimp out on something, but you still want the same optic and things like that. That way, the reps that you're putting in are gonna be the most effective as possible. That can cost a lot of money depending on the setup that you're running, but if you're really trying to take your training seriously, then this is something to keep in mind. And if you're one of those poor saps that can only go out and shoot at a range and they don't let you do actual drills or anything like that, I, a little bit of advice for you, fucking move. Now, am I saying that in order to train effectively, you have to go and use a 22 and things like that? Absolutely not. However, if you are worried about the cost of ammo as it fluctuates a lot, I know with this coming year, election cycles, ammo costs always go up quite a bit and you still wanna be going out and then doing that training, then perhaps a 22 would be a really good option. That way you can go out, train, do the weapon manipulations and do all the cool guy shit while still making sure that you're not breaking the bank. There's a lot of guys on the internet like, oh yeah, you know, spend you know $2,000 on ammo every single month so you can train effectively. That's crazy to me, that's, that's absolutely crazy. Most of us have families, uh, we have bills to pay. Going out and saying that you need to spend all your money on ammo and guns and things like that so you can have all these great things is important. It's like, it's really not. Being effective, if that's something that you want to do, you can learn and be effective without breaking the bank. And I believe a 22 is, is one of those easy ways to make sure that you can go out there and train effectively. There's a target out there about 250 yards, if I hit it with my VP9, you have to subscribe. Here we go. Ding! Totally hit it. He actually didn't. Why'd you have to out me like that? Anyway, thanks for coming to the Reaver Approach channel. This was just something to consider. If you've got a 22 or maybe you've been thinking about it, maybe this helps your decision. Maybe I'm a complete fucking idiot. Tell me in the comments. Someone's gonna tell me how dumb my gloves look, so. If you wanna jump in there too, nah, oh, then that's cool. Oh, guess what time it is. It is time for comment of the week. <laughs> now, comment of the week. This one was brought to you by KenBob48. Thank you, KenBob48. And his question is, why are you wearing funny clothes? Well, KenBob48, that is an excellent question. I actually signed a contract with Funny Clothes Incorporated, and I have to wear funny clothes for the next two years for every YouTube video that I create. Thanks for asking that question because I know a lot of people have been curious about my funny clothes. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the next one. So I've been really trying to work on my long range hits with my handgun so I could be more precise. So that's definitely something I've been working on.
All right, let's check out our hits. I missed. <laughs> 